multi strike of anything. Wow, these things have a lot of health or armor or something. Uh, attack speed of Transfixion. Doesn't Transfixion do like a chance to apply fragile? Yeah, that's it. Oh, an item just dropped up there. Gatherer's Charm Drunkard uh, refills potions for every eight health potions collected. What? Re refills potions for every eight health potions collected. 200% pickup range. Let's, uh, let's get rid of that and take that. Tighten the balls. Hey everyone, hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Hey Corwin, hope you did as well. And the light dead ends here. Dude, oh my god. Okay. I have made a mistake at some point. I thought, that I thought this was the last possible direction for the beam of light. Gutsy move to pick this as first agony map. Um, I saw a achievement to uh, unlock the sage by getting far on this map, and I was like, oh, okay. And here we are. It was also my first time playing this character. If I've chased that in every direction, and those aren't the right ones, then this has to go somewhere else. And maybe it loops back around or something. And comes back to that one. Is what logic is telling me. Do 10 million projectile damage at one run. Uh, base damage of ability. Okay, that's a dead end. Rotato is free on Epic this week if you want to skip that video. Rotato was kind of fun. As a streamer, I don't play it anymore because the first time I played it on stream, I got hit with seven copyright claims. And I was like, well, F you, Rotato music industry. So I haven't played it on stream again, but it was fun just as a, as a gamer. The balls! Your balls are so strong! Plus 120 base damage. Yeah, let's do that. No! Oh my god. That's not the way I wanted to turn the light. Dang it. 6% attack speed. That's not it either. Hmm. Man, I solved this light puzzle really easily last time. I'm struggling with this time.
BD balls. Extra bucket on the ground back there again. Trigger direct burn damage 1,000 times. I couldn't finish reading that. It liked my burning though. Okay, we hit a wall there. I'm gonna go back. Miss Liz TTV, thank you for the raid. Appreciate that. Welcome. Muckle and Douglas, well, thought of you, Reginald. That's why the fourth is the shots of Van Sample's on third. What was you and yours to the lap? Hope you enjoy your stay in today. It's on the way. Crank up the speakers. Don't touch the speakers. Giveaways every week. Please take a seat. We'll only need the edge. Mm. Welcome. Oh, dang it. That hit me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. As you can see, we're currently trying out Halls of Torment, which uh, has entered its 1.0 launch since I last tried it. And we are currently trying out Agony Difficulty, which, uh, is kicking my butt right now. Hey, Muck, I semi-suggested you. Europeans passing out now. <laughs> well, semi-thank you, Cold Mystery. I appreciate that. Really appreciate the raid. Thank you, Miss Liz, for the support. Uh, let's do... Force everything. You're a max Agony. I, I really don't know what that means, other than, like, maybe it's, uh, just everything does more damage or has more hit points or something. Okay, so. Use revive. I think that's my first time using that. Alright, that boss down there making all those purple circles is almost dead. Uh, it's just a matter of reaching him through all this crap. I'm guessing it's like the agony thing is like more health, more damage, and then perhaps some more monsters. Because there's just a lot of stuff on the screen right now. I'm completely lost from the light puzzle I was trying. Okay, well, here's part of it. Puzzle, but now I need to I need to move up into the right, and there's uh, too much stuff in the way. The 
cubes are troublesome because if you watch them, they don't go straight at you. They kind of try to flank you. So it's like if you move left, they move to match that and just, they stay in your way. One dead. Uh, let's see. Maiden's Tear takes 30 seconds to charge. When hit, negates damage. Charge is used. Gives force and damage bonuses when overcharged. Has diminishing returns. So blocks a hit every 30 seconds. Leaves goop puddles when moving. I'll equip that. Trying to finish off this little mini boss guy here. Okay, he died, he died, he died. Okay, the, the, the beam ended there. Oh no! Dang. And thus it ends. Thus it ends. That was my first agony. Mm, so that was my first time playing that character and I chose to take it into hard mode and we survived 28 minutes. Um, Capra Huntress. Hound increased damage. Riflewoman, Dissonant Speedster. Ability Morning Star. Okay. Alright. Uh let's see. Archivist did the most damage. Needles did like 5 million. Lightning did pretty good. Alright. Hard mode on the hardest normal map. <laughs> Was it? Um I mean, again, the main the main thing is I was just trying to... I saw this. Unlock Sage. I was trying to do that. Is there anything else that unlocks more characters? Any more that I can see, anyway. Almost there one minute and seconds more, you would have had the other character. Yeah. Sage might be the last one. Might be. Let's see, gold, inner, inner orbit. Inner orbit? Do 1.5 million to the astronomer's orbs on haunted caverns. That might be the one that you were yelling at me about. What does it do? Why do you like it? Great upgrade. Welcome. Welcome. Got the crazy spawns thing. It won't get cheaper than this. So I could do let's see that. And then Oh, I don't have the impering. I thought I had the impering. It's a safe zone around here. Uh, we could try to get it. Let's see. Alright. Let's try this summon thing. Was it Haunted Caverns? I think it was. 1.5 million with Astronomer's Orbs on Haunted Caverns. Alright. We'll try it. Hey, Mike, how would you rank this game versus other survival modes? Kind of in a mood to play one while waiting for PoE 2. Um, versus other survival modes. Uh, I mean, I find it fun. It's got its own unique charm with the item system and the Diablo 1 looking graphics, you know, stuff like that. Um, others that I have really enjoyed are God of Weapons. Um, Soulstone Survivors is really freaking good. You know, Vampire Survivors is, of course, pretty good. Uh, what else? Deep Rock Galactic Survivors. You know, Rock and Stone. That one. That one's pretty good, too. Morning Star. Swing a heavy iron ball on a chain in a figure eight pattern. Force multiplies damage. Uh, all right, so we're trying to do... We're, we're on a mission here. 
We want the balls. There is a plant on this map, too. So probably each Agony map has one plant, if I had to guess. Morningstar is also good if you want fewer balls on this spike. Does the Morningstar swing constantly, or just like on a cooldown? Uh, force? It's constant? Okay. Oh, there's the blood trails. Alright, so after I find this plant thing, I can look for that. Oh, the blood trail again. Hmm. Health, defense, movement speed. Sure. Plants. All right, I'm gonna look for the uh, blood trail. Honestly, I feel like early game would have been much easier if I'd picked the needles instead of the orbs, but we're trying to do the level up orb thing. So even if we lose the run, that would be but a good. 20%. Yeah, that's fine. 20% summon damage. Just do it. Everybody go. Uh, it's slime time. Oh, wait. I lost track of the blood trail. No, where was it? Uh, plus damage, minus range. Crap. There it is. Um, more force. I feel like this character almost more than any other cares about force. Dude, there are three mini bosses on me right now. What? We are minutes into this. strike or damage and attack speed. I guess it kind of equates out to the same thing. I'd rather have the attack speed, but... The other things there didn't really appeal to me much, so... total of 10 champion enemies. Okay, I guess one or more one or more of those things were champions. Uh, the single target really big attack. Flame strike. Attack speed is fine. Phantom needles. Is complete. 
I'll take the base health because I had two up arrows and the other stuff was uh, not as big. Let them get closer to that circle so I can kill them in the circle. There we go. Got it. Uh, attack speed of that. Okay, got the token fragment. Alright, so I'm gonna continue southward now and try to get this other power that's on sit that's sitting on the map. Let's see, plus the damage of the ability. base crit chance. Uh, we've got a double attack speed for a few seconds. Trying to use that time to melt this mini boss, and we got it. Uh, I really don't like Arcane Rift and Ring Blades. Feels extremely random. I'll take Transfixium for the chance to put the fragile debuff on enemies. Um, all right, I really want Lightning Strike. But I haven't seen Morningstar yet. So I'm going to take Morningstar because we haven't seen it. Base Force, sure. Oh, uh, where is it? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> this is like attached to my foot. just kind of flails around randomly around me. Alright, well, I guess we'll see how it does by the end. Uh, movement speed, health, and defense. The warlock class got promoted to slave. Yeah, we got the old ball and chain here, don't we? see if I can find that blood trail again. Follow me. Oh, this guy. Uh, we're invulnerable for just a few more seconds. And I do have that one move that hits the nearest enemy for a massive fire attack every few seconds, so if I can keep him as the nearest enemy, it will chunk him. It is chunking him. So you know how I got those gloves earlier that gave me 30% more spawns, 50% more damage? I just got the temporary version, which is double that. So yeah, I'm gonna take that. Possibly one of the best loots I know of that I could have gotten for this guy. Uh, amplifying. damage and attack speed on the main weapon. Okay, there's one end of the blood trail. Uh, 10 base damage, 2 meters. Can't remember if the orbs are considered summons or not. Um, let's check something. So if I go to Ravaging Spectres... Their damage 
is boosted by Invocator's Grasp, which is the, uh, well, actually, no, hold on a sec, 30%. Um, wait, what? So Invocator's Grasp is plus 50% damage, and the Ravaging Spectres are getting the plus 50% for it, but I don't know if they're getting the plus 30% spawn. Oh, oh, 30% is just number of spawns. Okay, yeah, yeah, so that that's a summon, that's a summon. All right, so Necromancer's Clutches summons. Shadow, Cloak, Holy Relic, Shadow Cloak Patches. Let's see, what's the one? Astronomer's Orbs. They are getting buffed by the gloves. The orbs are summons. Uh, Flame Strike is not. Needles are not. Transfixion is not. Flail is not. The flail is not a summon. We are really carrying that freaking thing around. I have two invulnerabilities. Okay, they just both wore off. I feel like that's not intended. One of the invulnerabilities I had just picked up, but then the old one wore off, and then they both wore off probably some kind of weird trigger in the game. Like, when Invuln ends, end all Invulns. Uh, minus 10% health plus 20% force. Let's do it. Oh! Ah! force. Ow. Okay. I want to... No. Oh my god. Is that the flail? Something... Maybe it was pro might have been flame strike. It's, it looked like the flail clocked him and he took 6,300 damage, and I was like, oh, it's over. But it might have been flame strike just hitting at the same time the flail was. Where's the blood trail? Uh, plus range. Flail is hard. A morning star is the type of flail. Can't a morning star just be the spiky ball on the end of the. Uh, handle? Like, isn't a morning star not necessarily a flail? I don't want to... This game doesn't uh, play nice with me tapping out of it and tapping back in. Otherwise, I would Google search that right now. Hiding through that. Where is it? I'm lost. Mm. I thought you were going north of the scroll. No, I was following the blood trail and then I got distracted because combat. your first time here and you already know one of my commands? That is sus. This guy's clearly smurfing. He's an experienced viewer on an alt account. 